Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about how to create our first block and before we continue further with building a new block let's go ahead and set up the ESLint so that we can ensure that our code is linted. Okay so we need to go to the assets directory and there are some of the packages we need to install and they will be ESLint and then we have ESLint loader, then ESLint plugin JS doc. Okay, and let's ensure that this is actually going to be dev dependency because this is for linting purposes. And let's just hit enter. Okay, so while these packages are getting installed, let's create a config file. So I'm going to create a config file called ESLint rc.json okay and I'm going to paste some configurations uh, don't worry about all of the code because you can go to the github repository and you can get all of that from here or um, from there and you can see that I have extended this so if you go and check about this package if you go and check about this package um, it's there in the block editor handbook and it tells you that this is basically including all of the configuration and custom rules and is recommended by WordPress and this is what you need to do you just need to do extends and then this particular um, and just mention the plugin that you will be using so basically this is to opt in the default configuration uh, that extends your own projects ES lint RC file okay uh, there is some more information here if you want to check out and it also talks about different rule set So you can check all of that information here. Okay, but uh, that's this is this was important that we need to add this over here Okay, awesome Also go ahead and ensure that you also have the WordPress ESLint plugin installed. I already installed it earlier. So which is fine, uh, but make sure it is al also installed all right, uh, now all we have to do is just write the script for that so that we can run ESLint and it was going to automatically fix all of the JavaScript related errors also for us, at least some of them. Uh, so this is going to be lint. You can name it whatever you want. I'm naming this as lint. And then the command will be ESLint and then fix, sorry, ESLint and then source JS and star all the files yep so inside of source we have we want to lint all the files which is which are there inside of the js directory okay and then we're also going to add lint fix command so let's name it as lint fix and this will be n and this will be eslint dash dash fix source js and then install okay that's about it now let's run it I'm going to run the npm run lint inside of the assets directory so you can see that these are all the errors that I have uh, you know line number two I don't have the document uh, and there are some other other errors like content is already declared in the upper scope option so I'm going to go ahead and fix all of the errors and in the next video we will continue with the development of our uh, new block and you can you can also run npm run lint fix so it's going to fix all the possible errors it can and then there will be some left which you can then fix yourself all right so i'm going to see you in the next video and we'll continue with the development of our custom block thank you very much mm -hmm.